Hello everyone. Welcome back to Options in Ocean again and uh, hope you are having a great weekend. So yeah, before jumping on to the today's topic. So this is my channel and uh, if you are watching my channel for the very first time, so I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, because I started sharing all the edu- educational contents whatever I am learning. So these are all my personal experiences actually. So I started sharing so that we both can learn together and uh, grow together. So that's the intention and uh, coming to the today's topic, that's a very interesting one. So yeah, <laughs> June month passed and uh, I just wanted to show my uh, P&L report of the June month. See, this is the P&L report of my trading performance of the June month. So as you see, first uh, first 15 days were really great. First 15 days were really great and uh, I was almost up by close to 3%. But what happened after the, the, uh, the third expiry of the Ju- bank nifty, it's a complete disaster. So whatever I had uh, earned uh, for first two weeks, I have already given back because of uh, uh, maybe because of uh, what you say, I just I thought like uh, I can make uh, almost the same returns of first 15 days in the second half also by following the same approach. But that didn't work actually because market dynamics changed so uh, adaptive in last 15 days and that kind of hurted my P&L also. And in this sense, like uh, if you see these uh, most of these reports, right? Thursday is doing decent. If you see Bank Nifty expiries, I was doing decent enough, except this uh, fourth expiry that was a horrendous expiry, as we all know that. That I'll show you in the graph. But look at this Friday, guys. Friday, this is one Sensex expiry. I had last minus thousand two hundred, but this one, this is a disaster actually. I lost close to one close to one percent of my capital on that Sensex expiry, which is not even matured enough. That is not at all acceptable. So compared to the uh, trading experience which I have but yeah that was a stupid decision of mine actually I would say and uh, because of that it costed my 1% of the profit which I have uh, earned uh, in the first two weeks. So that being said why I went with higher uh, uh, capital here is uh, let me show you. So this, this was that expiry this was that expiry on that day and uh, premiums were looking so juicy and uh, this was that uh, swing right uh, 63,300. I thought so it would get rejected from 63,300 level and uh, from this level. So I, I had sold strangles for around 20,000 capital but when it got rejected and started going upward I increased the lot further above 63,500. I started adding lots to 63,600 and all thinking that it would get rejected from this level but that never happened. It, it rocketed up from uh, see here from 2 o'clock it is 63,150 it went up to 63,550. These 63,600, 700 calls right they had exploded 10-20 times and all that was the kind of uh, uh, damage was done on this uh, two hour, one hour uh, period that kind of hurted my p and l and i had to forcibly exit with one percent loss that was one takeaway and with that sensex expiry that sensex intru- instrument is not even matured enough it doesn't even have the liquidity to that extent that was my mistake right like honestly it was my mistake of deploying bigger capital which is uh, which was not at all required so there yeah, now that uh, that has taught a very good lesson actually that day so the because of that uh, i was burnt my hand with one percent of the loss then coming to this one right let me show you for first 15 days right if you see until 15th if i show you see here i was almost up with 1.4 uh, 4 lakhs if we consider the capital of 46 lakhs it is close to uh, 50 lakhs right or 48 lakhs it is close to 3 percent almost net net to net and charges were also decent enough this was the experience going on even if i had gone penny to penny up premiums i would have still ended with four percent of the profit right this one but i didn't uh, make use of that uh, golden opportunity whatever i have earned in first uh, two expiries that kind of we see here because of greed because of greed only i have lost whatever profit i had earned here in the second half so that being said if you see from uh, second half uh, this one and all i this is exactly whatever i have earned i have given back it is minus 1.4 lakhs see here this is the damage actually so that is the thing and if you see the whole uh, record and uh, if you see this one let me show you again from uh, june 1st yeah here this finished expiry this finished expiry look at here i lost around 0.5 percent of the capital why because this is this is again in this is the case in the finished expiry as you see in sensex Sense also second half it was exploded upward in finished also it exploded upward even after second half see here we didn't expect this to be taken out it exploded even it broke 19500 
this kind of again i believe uh, i would have got burned hands with 16 19500 i'm sure with 19600 call option they would have exploded when it has taken out and all so again i got burned with this upside rally in the second half and that being said right it was very difficult to trade because look at this candle there when this small rejection here at right, this red candle it had spiked up puts to 5 to 10x 5 to 10x i believe yeah i remember that and immediately it was bought back so again calls also exploded in this candle it was these two candles troubled a lot that day and i still remember that expiry it was very crazy expiry i taking 0.5% loss on that day i would still be fine but only regret is this sensex expiry so far and coming to this one bank nifty expiry bank nifty expiry what happened again i lost 0.5% of the capital right here what happened let me show you that look at this expiry which is all traded within the very narrow range for first 3 hours and after that what happened it was a huge fall on the downside and immediately uh, upside rally again downside rally again upside look at this here down up down up it was lot just only we guys who traded that day they remember how difficult it was to manage our positions even even for this expiry taking this 0.5% even i am fine with it you and i am fine with it but again coming to last expiry of nifty what happened on 27th of uh, last monthly expiry of nifty again see here again it's upside rally it was up again it was down look at this red candle again it has immediately bought back the it had troubled a lot from second half onwards i think until 2 o'clock i was decent enough but from the second half from uh, 2 o'clock and all this troubled a lot see here from 19550 uh, it went up to 19800 guys we you didn't even expect i had lost some of my profit because of positional trade also positional trade profit ranged for ranged from 19550 to 650 after that from 650 to 750 there was a last range it has even exceeded that 750 it ended close to 800 right that positional also had ended up on profit believe it or not but i taken the loss as per my trading rule i exited with 10 10000 loss and uh, along with that this intraday also was very very difficult to manage that day even that also costed my profit and i exited with close to 1.3% of my capital so that being said it was all upside rallies only guys as you see here right here also in sensex also it's a huge upside rally in nifty nifty also huge upside rally here also huge upside rally bank nifty this is okay this is exceptional expiries i would agree but most of the trouble caused me was because of this uh, mad ex- uh, upside rallies on the second half especially after 1 pm so that being said because of first half was really good enough and second half even first half was difficult to trade in uh, june but somehow i had managed with uh, discipline and other things second second half of the month maybe because of my uh, recent performance in the sandal i maybe i didn't cut down the call options which was supposed to be cut down and uh, maybe few at places maybe hope based reversal would have kicked in and that's where these upside rallies have made me take those losses which wouldn't have been uh, possible otherwise so yeah that being said need to uh, come back with my old approach of uh, going safe and uh, going uh, as per my trade rule so that's fine i don't mind taking these losses and all but considering the fact that i took up these losses right so what are the takeaways first takeaway is don't uh, over trade in the second half that's the first point second half is if at all you are profitable until the first half right i maybe i'll be very very safe in the second half considering the history of this gamma especially on the upside so that is also one more point and uh, next third takeaway is like maybe i i will have to be defensive mode again so i was little bit aggressive in the second half of this june month that's where i had to give back all my profits so maybe i'll be defensive from now on uh, for uh, next uh, month or two so that i'll gain my confidence back and i'll uh, go with my regular approach so these are the takeaways and uh, one one good thing about uh, this quarter is if you see from uh, april to june right i still i still ended with profit of how much it is 1.8 right so this is close to how much around uh, uh, 3 and 1/2 percent 3 and 1/2% of my total capital quarter to quarter i'm still positive but this june month have uh, especially second half have made me uh, to be more humble with the market yeah market is supreme as we all know that so i'll be more uh, defensive from now on market has taught me to be humble to follow my discipline no matter what and uh, 
Uh, I don't have to try higher premium options, right? I'll I'll go little slow from now on. So maybe because I because of my recent uh, track record of May to June, I I tried little higher premiums that has hampered my confidence actually. So that being said, I'll go little slow and I'll I'll trade pennies until I get my confidence. And uh, I, now my now my target is very very clear, guys. Now my target is very clear. I'll go as per my targets and I'll stick onto my rules. And if at all if at all market is tough, right? I'll just close my day and I'll I'll come back my defensive approach. That way I'll try to close on. positive note or flat note that's the target from now on let's see my enthusiasm is not reduced because my quarter to quarter i'm still positive so let's say i'm i'm more energetic and more enthusiastic compared to last uh, uh, quarter so considering that like quarter is positive and june month second half made me to be humble with the market again again i'm repeat repeating uh, i have said all my expiry videos as you so know here and uh, all the mistakes whatever i have done i have said all my experiences uh, here also so yeah that's why it's a uh, learning is a part of the Uh, learning is a never ending uh, process uh, as we all know that and uh, that being said that's the end of this video and i hope you have taken some of the insights from my june month uh, uh, trading and also i request you to uh, follow your trading process be disciplined be st- uh, be humble and uh, stay as per the market uh, direction you know now my plan is to go directional as per the market because i'm f- i'm feeling whenever there's a huge upside rally right people are capturing these upside rallies and they are making killing profit which i am feeling there so i know that i have to be little uh, uh, directional i have to take up some directional bets which i am feeling actually currently so i am working on that part because that needs a different psychological approach altogether i know that so i am on it and uh, hopefully from uh, july month onwards i will try to go direction at least at least to some, some extent so that i can make use of my directional uh, no uh, trading and uh, whatever price action knowledge i have i hope i'll try to make use of that so that's the that's the only take away from this one and uh, try to go directional little bit try to go defensive uh, follow your discipline follow your trading rules and uh, even if, even if you even if you are even if you, i am ending up with 1 and half to 2% a month that is decent enough very good enough co- considering uh, number of expiries we are getting in and fin- sensex expiries kicking in on f- uh, friday and liquidity is also kicking in and uh, uh, we know that tuesday is a fin nifty expiry liquidity is good enough and uh, wednesday mid cap expiry it is also kicking in i am yet to try my hands in uh, mid cap expiry at least if i trade three expiries a week and even if i just make 0.3% in these expiries right it is see guys it is already 0.9% of the capital right 0.9 into 4 how much it is 3 and a half what else we want so that's a simple mathematics which i i myself failed from second half of this june i myself feeling bad for that and uh, yeah now now i have understood it very very clearly i hope i'm sure i'll do it from the july month onwards and all so let's see whether i'll do it or not i think you guys will also get to know you will be knowing my videos and i will be sharing all the educational contents whatever i am learning i am sharing all my reading my contents everything free here as you all know that so that being said if you are watching my channel for the first time request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, see you soon on the next expiry and uh, have a great day thank you